Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Sana. This is Vikas Sadiq. I'm an application specialist and marketing manager here in Sana. Today we are going to measure the Tefl slope for a current voltage curve. As you can see here that I have already opened a current voltage curve and I want to measure the cathodic and anodic Tefl slope. So for this let's get started. As you will click on this Tefl slope icon you will see that in toolbox window some additional parameters are required for the Tefl slope analysis. So first of all we need to provide cathodic start, cathodic end, anodic start and anodic end. Here I will click set to set the cathodic start. So let's click here and then you have to also give cathodic end so you don't always have to set the set value and then go to the appropriate value. So here will be cathodic end, next come anodic start. Let's start it here and anodic end here. Beside Tefl slope analysis, you can also measure the Krojan rate, but for the Krojan rate, you have to know the area of your electrode, the density and the equivalent weight. We will skip this for now and then by clicking calculate, it fit my Tefl slopes and it measures the Tefl slope. You can see here that the cathodic slope has a slope of 133 millivolt per decade and a nodic slope has a slope of 334 millivolt per decade. There are also some additional information given. Here in the window below you see cursor positions and you also see the equations for the level slope and you see the point where the both slopes are meeting up. So they are these both slopes are meeting at the 2.345 volts so here. Okay so this is how you measure the Tefl slopes of your current voltage curve. For the second part I will just remove this cursor. Now we want to measure the butler warmer characteristics of our current voltage curve. For this we will go to the butler warmer icon. Again in the toolbox there are some parameters which we have to provide. First of all we have to set the left cursor. So then let's set it here and then the right cursor is automatically chosen. Again you don't have to set it up and then just do butler former fit and then it shows you the fit. It also again shows you the anodic and cathodic slope and in this window you see the butler former parameter. You see that it's not symmetric so symmetry is 0 0.247 effective C is 542 milli so you can change the temperature we did not and it took the standard value of the temperature which was 298 Kelvin. So this is how you measure the Tefl slopes and Butler warmer characteristics of your current voltage curve. With this I come to the end of this video. I thank you for your time and see you in the next video.